Hello everyone, this is Super Lupin and I'm back with Hand of Fate 2. Um, like I said at the end of the Hubie video, which I just, well, it'll be tacked on. <laughs> um, like I said at the end of the Hubie video, um, I was going to, I decided to do a little bit of equipment token and shard grinding and I started um, on this and I included Hubie, so I'm going to include this part here, even though I haven't made any progress, just to show off the upgraded Hubie in combat. So... First, to put this shield. Yep. Dang it. I picked the wrong shield. <sighs> well, I'll just restart after this. At least you get to see Hubie. Hubie the Brave! Armored ones instead of ones that fire. QB. There's his golden horn. Aww. Look at him. QB the Brave with his new horn and magical hat. The hat is magical? There's nothing that can stop Hubie now. Nothing. Is the purple-eyed lady coming back? Oh, he uses the horn as part of the strategy. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, I'll be right back. Bye. Also, of note. Uh, exploding doodads. If you don't have a bomb artifact, you can also get food instead. I just got three food. So, uh, just letting you guys know that, if it's not already written down somewhere. Hold on. Be right back. Uh, still in the middle of token and shard grinding. Didn't get any further. <laughs> but I decided to use the death challenge again, and I switched out for Estrella. So, like before... And show you guys Estrella the Rebel in battle. The Rebel. <clears throat> Fancy finger work there. Did you see? I think her her pistols like her pistol has like a double barrel now, or it's something ridiculous. Wow, Estrella has traded her high rank, allies, and family for a hanging by for a hanging by high treason, a life on the run, and the possibility of a better world. Her pistol does much more damage. Now we fight for honor. Huh. Estrella, and I'll be right back. Okay, putting this in in case I get this shard, although I doubt it. Patience, do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. I actually got it! Nicely timed. Huh. You pretend to trip into him and slip the scroll into his satchel. Completely oblivious, the messenger finishes his drink and continues on his way. Hervey, Hervey, <laughs> gives you a nod and says, Here's your payment, as promised. I'm going to make a great reeve. I think I'll build a statue first. I also bought a peeler. What? How did I not... How did I... Apparently, the I guess the other option must have a huge success. Okay, fine. Well, that was annoying. 
I'll keep it in anyway, because I got a success. But, be right back. Okay, so now I got the token for Frostbolt, or I should. Yep. So that's done. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, let's see what's here. Hold on. Okay, I should have maybe gotten the token for Worker's Hammer. I think. Let's see. It was almost there. Yes! Two tokens! Good, and let's see how well I did. Oh, right. Okay, let's see how well I did on the other thing. 43 of 50, so that's nearly done. I need to repose two enemies, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I got the peeler. So let's... Let's work on this next. If I can find more enemies. Up, oh, wrong button. Map. What's here? Ah. So... I have one more card to check, so let's check it. For inflicting frostbite upon your enemies with frost bolts, we get Thunderbolt! And... For, for proving no shield is an obstacle against a hammer, we get Spiked Mace! <laughs> nice. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, first, let's check out the Spiked Mace, which was in supplies. There it is. Spiked Mace. Heavy weapon. Stun Empire. Perform a powerful strike that causes stun to Empire. Stunned enemies take 150% damage when hit. Ignore defense. Weapon deals full damage to enemies regardless of defense. Useful against Empire and Ogres. Wow, I wish I'd had this when I was dealing with the... Well, maybe it wouldn't have been as useful for Hubie because I was trying not to kill the Ogre with regular weapons. Okay, damage 25. Whew. Still the buckler, still working on that. Okay, I put Colbjorn in here, so let's see. Okay, here's something new. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Uh, artifact. Arc bolt. Aim a bolt that causes 35 damage to the first enemy it hits, then arcs additional damage to nearby enemies. More effective against corrupted. Oh, I wish I'd had this when dealing with Hubie as well. Magic Bane causes extra damage and stun to magical enemies. Includes shamans. Shaman? Chanters? Chanters? Huh. What are chanters? Mages, shadows, and undead. Limited bolts, turns into crossbow. Okay. Nice, but I don't need it. Uh, let's see, what do I want? Yep, take that. Okay, leave. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I might have gotten the, um, the token for the buckler. I, at least, I know I reposted one guy. Ooh. Another fame for that. Let's take this. Or maybe I didn't get the... Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, um, I guess I'll try, let's see, I don't need to use this spike mace, let's see, did I get, right, so I only need one more, bash enemies, right, okay, so I'll just use the neglected sword, unfortunately, just to work on this buckler, and then I'll try the, well, no, I'll switch to the spike mace just to show it off. Okay. Oh, 
Colbjorn will probably take precedence on that. Dang it. Oh well. <clears throat> Ten gold! Well, either way, one of these things is gonna get shown off, I guess. Okay. I know this video is gonna be such a patchwork of things, but whatever. That's usually how it goes with the uh, token and shards. Tokens and shards. Colbjorn, the ally! He's got a fancy new hat! Along with his fancy new swords. Colbjorn, his clan avenged, his northerner this northerner will be a steadfast ally until his debt to you is paid. Colbjorn's new flaming swords do extra damage to northerners. Is there anyone you won't work with? There's the spiked mace. Whew. Okay, I think I should have gotten the token for buckler from that. Okay. Um. Yep. Come on, did I get it? Yes, I did. Woo! That's another one down. Well done. Thank you. Now the power is yours to use. Give me that. Uh. Okay, so now that over there, this is illicit trade, so since I don't need to use the buckler anymore, I can introduce the spiked mace and work on this, which I only need to bash six more enemies. Good. So, on to illicit trade. Give me that. Not at the moment. Time to show off the spiked mace. <clears throat> so I've gotten what? Four to no, three tokens now. Good. Spiked mace. No. Ooh. Much deadlier than the hammer. A chunk spiked mace, a chunk of metal covered with spikes, ideally suited for dragging an armored knight from horseback. Regardless of that, it'll smash just about anything. Come on, guys, block! Okay, let's see. Did I really get... Did I really... I didn't think I'd use the peeler in combat before. Huh. I don't remember using its ability. Apparently, I've used it in combat before and I just completely forgot. Okay, fine. This is what happens when you mess with one business. Yes! And that's a complete shard! Well, a whole token. A Fra trophy and fractured memories. Yes! And a blessing! At the beginning of each new map, if we put in a game card, keep it, otherwise discard it.
Okay. Let's work on the token for champion's plate mail, I guess. Okay, I'll probably cut some a lot of that out, but I'm I may be nearly dead, but I made a lot of progress on that token. So yeah, see ugh. Let's see. Sixteen. I was at one before, so fifteen of them in one go. That's very nice. Camp. Food healing for 20. You saw that, right? Food's healing for 20. That's weird. Doesn't it heal for like 10? Did something change? Yeah. That's weird. Not that I'm complaining, but... Okay, so I just finished that fight. I got the, I picked up the thunderbolt as a reward, and the dealer said, "I'll, keep, I'll thank you to keep that far away from me." <laughs> That's funny. I wish I'd gotten that on screen. Oh well. <sighs> Why is food healing so much? Is this a glitch? Oh, wait, isn't this... Ah, I wouldn't even survive. Dang it, I could have shown off the Thunderbolt, but let's just see what rewards I do get. Okay, let's see. For using... For using... For using you, shouldn't that be your? <laughs> for using your buck, you buckler, for using you buckler, to effectively repost the slow and overconfident, you get tactician's but buckler, yay! And for this, and for getting five more shards, you get for completing a shard, you get more hood customization options. Why did I do that? Yeah, that could be interesting. Okay, so first let's check out supplies and see this new thing. Ah, there we go. There are four story-based companions, all platinum. I kind of wish they'd upgraded it to include Hubie and other companions, but that would have been a lot of trouble, I admit. So. Ah, right, right, right. I wish they'd included a red. Mm. 
old dealers look, new dealers look. Just a bunch of... Let's go with that for now. Just for a little while, anyway. See what else I can work on. Alright. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back to doing this. Um, Picked out some more cards, but before anything, I wanted to show off supplies. Tactician, tactician's buckler. Uh, buckler adds plus one to weapon charge, shield reflect, defense eight. There's that. Now, or maybe not. I can show off the new and improved Ariadne. Yay. the hero with her upgraded gauntlet let's see Hup. Ariane a circus fortune teller told her that she would die a hero and die a hero she will no she won't no 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 that is not happening Ariadne's gauntlet grants her much more health. Time to wreck this joint! Also get to show off the hood in combat. It looks nice, but I think I'll switch the character back to the way she was originally. Okay, and I'll be right back. You know, I just noticed that starvation damage only took out eight life. What's going on here? It's just weird. Okay, Tactician's Buckler, now being, uh, showcased, whatever the word, I forget. Tactician's Buckler, made of light elven wood, this shield may save you the precious seconds between life and death. Yep, and now I am going to work on a token, so, hold on, I'm going to work on, uh, the Marksman's Bane token, since I got Marksman's Bane, that's going to take a while, and I'm not going to put it on screen, so hold on. Okay, uh, I think I managed to get enough for the token, so let's finish these guys off. off. I think the music quit on me. Don't quit on me, music. It doesn't work at close range. It doesn't work at point blank range. Yeah, the music quit. Oh, it's raining outside. Huh. Yep, and that's Mark's, Marksman's Bane done. 
<clears throat> okay, but I don't think I can really do any more, so I'm gonna stop this run and see what I get for Marksman's Bane. Yay, that's another token down. Ooh, but some of these, like Felvin's Favor, 75 wheel gambits or something, that's gonna take forever. For persecuting ranged enemies with Archer's Bane, which was, as I mentioned before, was its original name, so I guess they didn't change that. Oops. We get Dazzling Blade. Yay. Okay. Uh, mm. Dazzling Blade. Those stun who would strike you from afar should think twice. Stun range. Cause a short stun to ranged enemies and your current attacker when activated. Empire Bane deals 150% damage to Empire and ranged enemies. Ignores defense. One-handed. Okay, that's much better. Okay, going to try. I'm uh, going to try uh, interception again. I've done this a few times already with this equipped. Also, I have this. Let's see, what's the right wide beam? Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, it's not always the same. The last time I tried this, there wasn't a huge failure. Dang it, that's mean. Got it! Breathe, you have done well. Thank you. While he is distracted, you use sleight of hand to slide the scroll into his satchel while thanking him profusely. You ought to be more careful, says the messenger, handing you the remainder of your coins. The messenger finishes his drink and continues on his way. Hervey gives you a nod and says, Here's your payment. As promised, I'm going to make a great reeve. I think I'll build a statue first. I don't think you're going to be a great whatever a reeve is. And there's that shard done. Awesome. Okay, so I will be right back when I have something else to add in. Well, here's something else. Uh, working on another shard, but I have the golden shield equipped and it's getting highlighted. This is working, right? I think so. Okay. Golden shield. It seems almost a shame to bring such a pretty piece to the battlefield. Yet perhaps a patina of wear will improve the, its already high value. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. So, be right back. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna end up getting the stuffed potato trophy for finishing this the lover's challenge with Oswin at full health. Mostly because the game threw this curse on me, and um, Osman, I healed Osman to full health, so mm, I got lucky. If this works, I'm going to work on this token right here. Five more charged bashes. This is going to get some more use. This is, well, this is almost done. Um, okay, so let's do this. on this on using this strategy to get the trophy because there are a lot of different curse cards in this game and I just happen to get the one that will keep Oswin safe. Ooh, that's funny. Yep. Oswin has terrible taste. bashes. Oh, well. Yeah, 
back over here. Am I gonna get it? Or did, will that not will it not count because of the interesting? Okay, apparently it didn't count. Oh, <laughs> it did count. It just took a little bit, a little bit for it to sink in. Okay, so that was funny. Um, before I go on, I wanted to mention that I got the shard for Felvin's favor, which is let me show you. I did this challenge a whole bunch of times. Now, let's see. it's already in here yeah uh for wheel gambits now the shard requirement was actually very easy it, you had to complete 75 wheel gambits you don't have to win you just have to do them now if you're trying to do this shard and it's gonna take a while it is but there are ways to make it a lot faster than it than it could be now, the good thing about this uh, card is that the fame requirement is low, uh, value 28, so keep that in mind. Now, if you want to make this easier, I was doing it on in the death challenge because, you know, you can take supplies, it's a relatively small deck, um, but what you do is, you, you know, you fill up the deck mostly with wheel cards that uh, require wheel gambits, although you also want to put in cards... Uh, well, I altered this already. Cards like Carriage of the Departed, that helps with gold. Illicit Trade could help you get it. Um, Gambling Hansel could help you get it. Waterfall of Youth is just for food. The Maiden is for, well, you know. But um, two cards, uh, certain cards that'll really help you uh, make getting the shard faster are obviously Alchemist, because that's three turns of Wheel Gambit. So that counts as three tries for the shard. You know, three in one encounter. And again, it doesn't matter what you get on these wheel gambits as long as you do them. But two other cards that are very, very good for do for getting the shard on Felvin's favor are Burning Building and Caravan Robbery. Now... If you do it right, you can get up to six spins of the wheel with burning building. What you want to do first is, well, you want to take out the huge failure because Felvin's Favor allows you to take one card out of the wheel. You want to take out huge failures, obviously. Uh, and you want to fail. the. F you want to get failure like the first two times. Why? Because, well, if you get huge failure... That that means the fire is claimed to life, meaning there's one less person to rescue. You get fewer spins. If you get pain cards, it might be the same thing. If you get if you get um, if you rescue someone, that's one fewer spin. But failure, you know, you just have to try again. So you fail the first two times, and then you start trying to actually rescue people. Um, avoid huge failure. Or maybe you can take up another pain card, but at maximum, if you fail the first two times and keep going, you'll get up to six spins of the wheel. So that's six counts for the shard, and that's really good. It really cuts down the time. And with uh, Caravan Robbery, you, I think you can get up to seven spins of the wheel. I mean, you can just keep raiding caravans. Uh, that is, as long as you don't get caught by a monster card. You know, you. Um, if you hit a monster card in the wheel or a failure, well, then, you know, you can't keep going. But if you get lucky and you keep getting gain cards, um, or items or whatever, as long as it's not a monster card or a failure, then you can go up to seven times. Now, what also really helps when you're trying to do the shard for Felvin's favor is to pair it with Grifter's Companion. 
you know, wheel nudge. That really helps just to help you keep going. And Because I missed a lot of those wheel gambits. And if it wasn't for Grifter's Companion, I would have had to do more runs. So there's that. You can also do uh, Mystical Island, Goblin Retainer. Let's see, what others? Oh, I forget what others. Uh, yeah, but those are only like one. So, but I think it was, yeah, those cards, uh, Alchemist, Alchemist, Mystical Island, Goblin Retainer, Caravan Robbery, Burning Building, those five plus, Gears of the Departed, Illicit Trade, Gambling Hansel, Waterfall of Youth, and the Maiden. That is the deck I would use to grind for that shard. Um, you could also throw in Mask of Holy Fortunes to help with Waterfall of Youth if you get it in time. Uh, for uh, Mask of Holy Fortunes, you can also use some of these cards. You can use this challenge to grind for it. However, you need to be a little more careful about which um, cards, you ch which encounters you choose to work on. Because you need to get success or huge success for the shard for... Um, Mask of Holy Fortunes, and some cards don't give those, they give other things. You've seen them before. Berta's Betting House, for example. They don't give success or huge success, so don't use that. Uh, Forgotten Dreams, definitely not something you want to use. Helpful Priest, uh, that is a very good one, because if you give them like half your food, it's like all success or huge success cards, so that's really good. Oh, that's only one at a time, so that would take you a while. I don't know of any cards specifically that give you, like, two chance card gambits in a row. Oh, no, I haven't found any. I mean, maybe there are. Pickpocket, definitely not a good card. You can't use that to get the shard for Mask of Holy Fortunes. Raider's Ambush, also can't use that to get the Mask of Holy Fortunes. Exploring the Wilds, can't use that. Uh, I haven't replaced it yet. Uh, Grimalkin, you can use that for Mask of Holy Fortunes. Fatal Beast, you can use that. Deal the Fae, you can use that. So, that helps. I tried using, uh, the Lovers for Mask of Holy Fortunes, because they're, you know, when Oswin gets kidnapped, it's a chance card gambit, but that hasn't really been working out well. It was, you know, it was getting the fame to actually equip the thing, besides finding it, because it requires 12 fame. But, yeah, there's that. So that's all I have for right now. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to be any longer, but uh, I'll be back if I have something else. Hold on. Okay, highlight on these sacrificial blades. Didn't think this. Is, mm. Didn't think I get this, but whatever. Sacrificial blades. Ceremonial blades used to banish fallen mages and undead, apparently. If I got this right, I should have gotten a token. Yes! Champion's plate mail, done. Nicely done. Thank you! Okay. Well, at least I can see what the token gives me. Let's see. For applying your might as the champion's plate mail demands, you get Blaggard's, ch Blaggard's plate mail. That's a good thing. A blaggard is not a good thing to be called. Whatever. Hopefully next time I'll be back, it will be with a shard. Shard token. Whatever. Hold on. Okay. Uh, more. Okay, I don't have a shard or token, shard token yet, but I will get, um, the assassin's blades will get highlighted, so I'm going to show that off. Let's see... Hmm. Yeah! Assassin's blades. Slender, graceful, and deadly. The cost of these blades is always a life. <laughs> okay, so let's see the action.
Oh, that's amazing. The animation looks great. Well, two. Anyway, that's what those look like. Be right back. And that's the that's the shard for Assassin's Blade done. Assassin's Blade done, which means I get another token. And that'll be the last one for this video because I have done enough. All the little segments for this video. Ugh. Uh, with this one should be segment number twenty six. Yeah. Also, realize Interception is not a good card to use for getting the Assassin's Blade token, because if you fight the Empire on that card, you lose to fame, which made me lose the ability to use the Assassin's Blades right before this. Thankfully, I managed to get it back, and then I got Illicit Trade, which gave me a lot of Empire to fight. But yeah, that's one more shard-based token done. That's 6 out of 10. up for completing a shard you get ring of precaution don't remember what that does but i think it's nice anyway that'll be the end of this token and shard grinding video which is what the 10th i think um next time i think I could do Katura's story but i'm a little tired of all these of the companion stories well Hubie's is really hard, and maybe part of that was because I went in blind, because his cards were new to me, and I wanted to be surprised. And the same thing holds true of Katura. So, maybe I'll do Katura's story in a little bit. Um, maybe I'll do the star next time, and then after that I'll do Katura's story. And then there's another companion as well. Let's see... Oh, uh, yeah, I think, if I remember correctly, there's another companion you can get by doing this. The Servant. Hmm. Maybe I'll do the Star, then Katura, and then this? I've never done one of these extra. This one, if I recall vaguely, is very hard, so I think I'll save that for late much much later on maybe after the last main campaign challenge i don't know um hmm. anyway so that'll be it for this video this has been emma lupin playing hand of it too remember if you like this video please remember to do things like press that like button leave a comment to tell me how i'm doing or consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and you can also um blah blah i lost my place Ugh. um you can also share my videos on social media. Every little bit helps. And you can also check out some of their videos and playlists, uh, which I'm going to put at the end here. I'll see you guys next time with more Hand of Fate 2. Bye.